Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I'll show you guys how to make an array of parts and then machine them. So here's our part. And it has seven sides. And what we want to do is just measure measure the Y, and that's 2.1078. Okay, so we're going to select the part. We're going to move it over, we'll click on copy, we'll move it over 2.1078, it's not far enough, let's just move it over another half inch, okay. Do it two times on that side. Two times on that side. Click the check. And you can clear your colors. And now we have five parts. What we want to do is create a new level called stock. And we just want to draw it. Go 2.6 inches Y, 13 inches in X. So we're just going to hold on this piece of rectangular stock to machine all these parts. So instead of doing each one by itself, our toolpaths are going to select multiple chains at once. And we'll start by facing the stock off. We'll just do the entire thing. That will in turn face each part. Select a half inch tool. Tool one. Okay, that looks good. on zigzag linking parameters that all looks good click the check and pretty simple toolpath right there just a facing we'll do a bounding box click all four corners click end selection type in zero for the X zero for the Y after you select the center. Z, it's about an inch thick. The distance between them is not quite in half inch, so we're gonna have to go with a smaller tool to rough out all that material. Do a dynamic mill, the stock, 
It's our machining region, and our avoidance region will be each part. So we'll go with the 3 8 end mill. We'll go in there and edit the tool. The depth, we'll select the bottom, we'll add another minus 50 thou. Click the check. So it looks like it created a tool path, but it stayed within the stock and we want to come from the outside. That's more like it. Okay, now we're going to verify the part. Speed it up a little bit. And yeah, it's just roughing out all that stock of all the parts at once. If you're looking to keep your machine running longer and with less like load unload time, you definitely want to do a rate of parts like this. You can either unload the machine every five minutes or every hour. Think of it like that. So, we're going to do a contour next. That looks good. Use the three eighths. We'll do a ramp. Hundred and fifty thou every time it goes around the part. Do an extra minus fifty. It's looking good.
On to the next toolpath, we're selecting the bores. Same tool. This time we will ramp at a little bit of a less aggressive step. We'll go 50 thou. Perfect. Now what we're trying to figure out here is our step overs. Looks like we have to increase it a little bit. There we go. So we just copied and pasted it, and now we're going to delete each chain. Select the smaller hole on some of them. Oh, it looks like we forgot one. We got an error because we have multi passes where the hole is so small I can't do them. So we'll get rid of the multi passes. Minus 550. Okay, moving onward. Next. Drill all these holes. As you guys watch me program this, you may think it's taking a lot more time to program, but this will only take 20 minutes to program, and imagine how much time it will save you in load and unload. You can let this thing run for you know, five times as long while you walk over to the other machine and set something else up for free, basically. That's basically doubling, you know, doubling how much you make your machine shop. Call this tool three. Copy, paste, and now we'll switch to a quarter inch drill.
Okay, cut parameters. We'll do peck drilling, so 100 thou per peck. Meaning it'll go down 100 thou in Z and then retract all the way up and then go back down an additional 100 thou and back up until it's done machining. Retracts a little bit high, we'll change that. Put the check. Now we're going to chamfer all those edges. We'll just click the face like that and it does all the work for us. Select library tool. Go to filter, deselect end mills, and let's find chamfer mills. There it is, chamfer mills. So, quarter inch chamfer mill. Switch to chamfer. Chamfer width will go 20 thou. Bottom offset, 20 thou. Nice. So it looks like we have op one of all these uh, programmed out. So we'll go to verify. There it is, roughing out the material. We'll click compare. Green means it's within plus or minus 10 thou. Blue means it's out of tolerance. And again, your machine is making five parts while you're walking away setting up another machine. So that's why, the, that's why we do arrays mostly. So that looks good. This was our uh, our little tutorial on how to create an array and uh, machine it. I think Operation 2 is pretty straightforward. Uh, if you guys like this video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you later. Thanks.